everybody, Brian from PB Homestead. I wanted to do the yard walk, but first I wanted to show you the uh, squash from this week. So, this is what we're getting for our squash. Harvested a few of our pears. The reason I'm showing you the squash is because I'm going to show you what we're going to do out in the yard. I need to transition some of the uh, squash and take them out and put in some of our fall crop. So here's our uh, fall crop of broccoli. You can see how big it's gotten. And it needs to go in the ground. There's some uh, scragglers. We'll probably put those somewhere. But these are going to end up going over here where the squash is starting to show its downy mildew. I figure instead of trying to fight the downy mildew, I'm going to harvest off the, uh, the squash like these patty pans. I'm going to take some of these out. I might leave this patty pan over here. I'm going to get rid of any of the squash back in this area. And I'm going to uh, replace it with all the broccoli in this box. This box will be all broccoli. And we do have enough squash in other areas that we're not going to really miss having one or two plants taken out. You can see the downy mildew starting to show up. I want to get rid of this stuff before it uh, you know, wastes the space. Because now's the time to put in the, uh, the new old crops. Let's see, here's our Monte Cristo beans. They're doing okay. I mean, it may have been too late for these guys to really take off before fall gets here. So we probably won't get any beans out of those. Sweet potatoes are doing well. We do have the squash all in this box here. You know, we've got plenty coming in. You know, more zucchini down here, it's ready to harvest. We still have some we haven't even eaten on the deck up there. So, you can see the sunflowers are getting tall, it's starting to open up. Take a little back shot in here. They're starting to open up and look nice. Got plenty of tomatoes. Got to go through and harvest today, this weekend. more squash coming on down there. I mean, you can see there's tons of yellow squash we're going to have for fall, so a few plants being taken out over in that other box aren't going to really matter. Looks like we got some more in here forming. Tomatoes have overgrown the pathway as usual. Coming off that trellis that I put in, or it's really starting to feel the burden of the weight. cherry tomatoes back there to get. Let's see what we got here. Boy, this fig is really taking off this year. I'm going to need to get this guy in the ground somewhere. Might end up putting him in the front yard. Looks like we got some more uh, pink board to harvest. There's quite a few on this one. Spaghetti squash are ready to harvest. You can see they got the nice yellow. That one there is definitely ready. I'll probably take that one this week. Once they get that golden yellow color, they're ready to go. Let's see, let's go this way. I'm going to show you the. There's some more tomatoes. A lot of cherry tomatoes we need to get this week. Another great griller down there. The dogs have been coming through here and taking off all the low tomatoes, so we've had to kind of hide them back. Because if you don't know what happens when dogs eat tomatoes, they get the uh, the runs. <laughs> they eat too many of them. Oh, and then I didn't uh, I didn't show you guys the little the little dwarf pear we have here. They got so loaded down with pear, I had the top laying over here. But uh, I guess it just got too heavy and it snapped off its top, so I don't know if I'm going to take this pear out or not. I might leave it, let it grow another top, or I might replace this with a more hardy pear. Like I have a, you know, we have the sprouted Asian pears, like that one over there. So I might actually replace this little pear here, just chop it off, and then replant another pear there. But I've never been too happy with the dwarf pears. They're just so small and they're so delicate. They get loaded with fruit, they just kind of tumble over. The Puna Cures are doing really well. I mean, we're getting a ton of cucumbers off this thing. I mean, these are beautiful. They taste great. 
We've given quite a few of these to some of our friends and neighbors. And they really like these things. Even when they get to a bigger size and they start to get the uh, golden color on the end like this one, they start to get a golden color. And, they, and then I'll turn all the way through it. They say that's when the flavor really comes out of those. I mean, they may look a little weird. They look like they're burned almost, but there's a, they taste really good. As you can see, we've got tons of them coming on in this thing. Next year, we're, gonna, we're really going to put a bunch of these in the yard. Because, I mean, look at all the flowers. If all those set, we're going to have the cucumbers all the way up through frost. Then we got our gherkins, our Adam F1s. They've been producing a lot. Can't really walk back here anymore because we got so many cucumber vines going and beans going across here. You can see we got Monte Cristo beans all over. These are really good, especially at this size. They're really tender. And of course, we've got more tomatoes over the trellis here. A lot more harvest here. Up through there. I'll give you a shot underneath here. so cool to walk around out here. And we've got more, more beans here to harvest. You can see they're just all over up through there. All our dogs are out chasing something now. I can hear them. And here's our latest fall cucumbers. There's some slugs. I'm really going get to get going on killing these guys this morning. Beans here, gotta tuck around. Get this sit there. Dogs are going nuts over squirrels in the trees. <laughs> the Asian pears are starting to turn. You're getting a nice little bit of yellow on them. There. Yeah. The update for the lower yard. Now I'm going to go take you guys and uh, walk you up through the upper yard in the next video. All right, talk to you guys again. Bye.